another trip to the oh it's another trip to the uh, cardboard store and it's sleet and sna snail sleet and snail sleet and hail hail and sleet shale snail stale stale snail shale hail <laughs> in the hail okay just gonna put it in the car check out that sky Hail has gone, the hail has stopped, the hail has ceased. Hail Caesar! Um, and the sun is out. Look at that remarkable sky. You see that remarkable sky? It's like a comb over. It's like a comb over on the horizon. Anyway, I'm just walking along, spitballing ideas, thinking to myself, trying to overcome the tragedy of what happened last week in my edit suite. Uh, picking up the pieces and rebuilding what I built. Ah, and a walk is the right thing to do. So Daddy comes over with his bad crisps. Look at that. And straight away I was like, it's not a fucking crisp in there. He's put two bags in one and many, tried to get away with it. That's how many should be in a fucking bag. Oh, no. <laughs> and look. Oh my god, it's so, so good. Morning. It's Saturday morning and we thought we would share with you this early in our day because apparently last night I was snoring like a trucker and this one... Recorded it. Recorded it. <laughs> so we thought, just so you can know exactly how much Mark suffers. Go on then, I've not heard it yet. I also filmed you naked. Mark. Yeah, I think it was you farting. It could have been something else. Mark, but... stop it! <laughs> Too much. <laughs> right, here we go. Quite walrusy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my. Very walrussy. Right right it's very walrussy. Yeah. Just like toffee. It is. But this is not all the time. This was quite a gentle night. I think it's quite sweet. It's baby walrus. It's not pleasant, but it's not bad. Baby walrus, not daddy walrus. What are we doing? Just um, calling my mum because it's time for Teddy Turks. Sorry, I'm looking so rough. Got some nice. lovely chocolate. But from, I actually um, had a lion today. Megan, whose business Ribbeth Mellis, I think, is Welsh for. Sweet things, is it? Something sweet. Hi, Mum. Sorry, I can you can you Skype again? Thank you. Sit. 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 Oh, what's this? Saturday morning. Dad is having a shower. Yeah? Stop it! Be annoying! Sorry, it was a mistake. Love you too. 
was nine. <laughs> so we've just done Teddy Talks with Teddy. <clears throat> and um, whilst his Teddy Talk was brilliant, I wish we'd been filming his last bit. He was talking so philosophically about how this process that he's going through of revisiting characters and setups and situations in his life is, like he said, at the time when he was younger and he was going through all these things, I think we can all relate to this, this is why I'm sharing it. Uh, all these sort of conflicts and fears and worries and emotions felt so intense and so overwhelming and so sort of important in a kind of, not humorless, but you, you couldn't see the sort of lightness in it or the sort of the light and shade. And like he said, you know, he's talking about this story of him being arrested and going to court for running a pub in, in Jordan. It's very, and it's a very funny telling of the story. Those who are family guests, you'll know it in the Sunday show. But in the retelling of it, he sort of re-owns the story. He, he sort of relives the story. And he was just talking about how from his vantage point at his age, he feels that like he's been blessed with the capacity to kind of look back and lift the curtains on previous experiences and re relive them and revisit them anew with a lighter touch. I just found that really positive, you know, and I talk in our mental health chats and our sobriety chats about a power greater than you and powerlessness and all this kind of stuff in order to get sober. And sometimes Teddy talks philosophically about the very thing that I think there is a reason to live for, which is the human capacity to see through the way in which we make all things about a linear sense of achievement. Actually, it's a holistic thing. It's a whole thing. It's a feeling thing. It's a sense of spiritual awareness of the past and of the future and of the now. God, sorry. Uh, so that's it. My father-in-law's fired up my heart and my mind today. And I ask you to revisit and review old experiences that you're way past now, that at the time were really traumatic, but on reflection, have a lightness of touch to them and something really pleasant almost in the reliving and the retelling. Did you go into the shower on your phone? Huh? Did you go into the shower on no. your phone? I've just got to do this. Um, I'm doing a live on. <laughs> I'm doing you... a live on Insta today. You know my friend. You'll know her, guys. Real chitty gritty. Yeah. My friend who got bloody really aggressive breast cancer. Three young children. She's amazing. Anyway, she started up this business, so I'm doing a oh, live nice. to try and help let people know about it. I was just sharing how philosophical your dad's after chat was after Teddy talks about how re, a re, re, re own, yeah, re-owning stories from your yeah. past with the, the advantage of time. Yeah. You he, make me feel because really he says, good. you know, when you're in it, you're yeah. not feeling it. Well, you're not seeing it. And I said, all so is potential. it like you're immersing yourself back in it? He said, no, it's like, he, what was it? He said, Lifting like the curtains. Yeah, he said, it's just like floating. You yeah. float past your, your memories sort of float through you almost. But he always seems like he's blissed out by it. It's really nice. He's enjoying these up these years. Yeah. Of no pressure at all. He's loving it. He's no loving expectation. It. But that's what we need to introduce into that's our lives at an earlier stage. That's, oh, well, this is it. How do you do it? Because How? they all get to that age and say, I wish I'd done it earlier. Yeah, everyone does. How we do you have do to have that? whole days off. Fuck. Where we can just be. All dad is doing is just being, listening to the birds, being in the garden, know. you know, doing all that stuff. I hope we have a grandchild that asks us to talk I about really stuff. I really want a grandchild. God, I don't know if I'll do that. Then one yet. of them would have to be pregnant. Yeah, too soon! No. And then, then we'll have to look after it just when we're free. Yeah, that's true. Okay, change that. We've just come out of our coffee moaning and we're just, again, just wanting to reiterate how smitten... How much we are. We are. Oh by Lior's... Sorry, it's me. I think it is me who says Lior. Lior's beautiful pictures. Uh, and then there's that other one which I'm going to take to Nanny Dyes. I'm picking Nanny Dye up tomorrow night. Hello, subs. Um, so we're now literally about to film Saturday morning. We're about to film one of the dishes for the Sunday show. Ah! And, oh my God! You are joking. What happened? <laughs> that looks like I started filming. As what happened? Oh. I thought you had. What the hell are you doing? I'm just bringing this down. Babe, it is so dramatic when you go. Have you heard anything? Just twisted my ankle a bit. Oh my <laughs> God. Fucking hell. 
Fucking hell, but Jesus Christ. Look at the size of that. That. These are big potatoes, babe. No. Big spuds. Um, what was I saying? It's a beautiful day, and on a beautiful day, one's natural thought and proclivity is to go to the park, which we want to do. But everyone else is going to be there. And it's not about being antisocial, but there's something really annoying. I just find it very annoying when other people go to the park. I know, it is annoying. Our park. It's our park. And uh, so it's really frustrating because, of course, the sky is beckoning. But I am, I tell you what I am feeling this weekend. I'm feeling like the growing, like, like a little unfurling bud from a seed. I can feel my desire to get in the garden unfurling like a little seed. And I want to plant trays of seedlings. I really do. But I haven't got a greenhouse. No, I, I'm going to get the Sunday show done ahead of time. We've got Teddy Talks has been done. Uh, so philosophical, the chat at the end, we didn't record the bloody thing. Um, just so, so, anyway, I shared with you what you were saying earlier. Um, so what do we do, babe? I'm going to be editing most of today, but I also want to, I want to do so many things. I want to vlog. I want to caress my wife. Caress my wife. I want to watch WandaVision with the girls. Look at this man. However much I tell Kiki to watch it, she won't. Oh. Isn't it beautiful? Look. I mean, I never get a chance to ever wear it anywhere because I'm not done of that sort of life. You wouldn't want to wipe your bottom with it, beautiful? would you? You wouldn't want to have it all once you went to the loo. Could really hurt yourself. Uh, so yeah, so there you go. That wasn't disgusting, it's just it's disgusting. pragmatic and practical. It's an affliction. So don't don't say her name and move no. very slowly, but you've got to get the DOG. The behind me. model one behind you. Okay, turning right now. I'm just going to be looking, pretending I'm talking about because if okay. she knows we're, we're in any way focusing on her. Yeah, that's true. Then... The birds are so lovely. Aren't the birds lovely? Stunning. Don't let her know for one minute this is about her. I'm not letting there's Boris out there. Anything, oh, she knows. She knows the lens now, doesn't she? Is the lens your friend? Oh. <laughs> if only she was decent. If only she just could behave. I would take her on my RUN with me. But she'll bite me all the way around. <laughs> oh. You're just so softy. Too softy. Where's Chi Chi? She's never got eye bogey. She's never got bad breath. She's never got anything. She's just. But she has got bad breath. Beautiful. So, she just skewered her spuds. Skewered my spuds and now I'm going from my couch to 5 I'm in week spuds. five. And I'm on, guess where I'm at? This is the, the last, last day, day of the middle cycle of the advanced Joe Wicks. And I mean, after I'm, that, there isn't anything. Well, no, I've got one more cycle. I've got the high cycle. Four more weeks. What do I do at the end of those four weeks? I'm going to have to contact him and say, Joe, what do I do, Joe? Joe? I'm losing. Joe! Mark does, Joe every day yeah. Mark. does he? Yeah. Do his abs look as good as mine? I don't know. Oh, I've never looked at his abs. I had to really tense that to make that look even vaguely presentable. <laughs> oh my god, look in here. I know, I'll try to look again. It's got crazy. It's not me though. Why What's is this? Why that's me putting in my one wash of the eat week. What why is that clothes horse getting further and further into the room? We need to turn this round. It's not oh working. it's diabolical. I saw those beautiful they say that having a laundry room is the new big thing for yeah. a house. Yeah. And I was looking at all these beautiful I thought, why can't we do have a nice Let's one? Do it. Because you were just going, no, you won't want anyone in the house. Babe, mm, we are in lockdown. Wait till we're out of lockdown. No, but after lockdown you won't want Meanwhile, this room is looking lovely. Apart from, there he is. Step ladder, how are you? What's it? How you doing? What's that? You found lockdown what? Bit of an uphill struggle. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, you've got to be safer coming down the ladder than going up the ladder. Yeah, all the accidents happen coming down the ladder. 
Oh, it's good to see you. Yeah. Nice to have you back. Yeah. Yeah. Take care. <sighs> Just back from my run and oh my god, so much stinking thinking. Because <sighs> I couldn't do it as well as the last time. My whole last bit of the run, I was just depressed. I was going, oh my God, you stopped at seven minutes. Oh my God, now you're walking. I just had really, really low energy. And so I was berating myself all the way home and then it wasn't till the last few minutes. And I was thinking, what would I say to anyone else that was now talking to themselves like this? I'd be like, why can't you just say you've gone out and you've done a run? Frustrated, because I didn't do it as well as last time. But maybe tomorrow, that means I'll do better. Hiya, are you finished? Oh, yeah, so I was waiting outside until Mark finished his Joe Wicks. Um, but of course I can't do that because the dog started barking. Should have taken a key. Yeah, so very frustrated with myself. That was not a good run. Oh, it's so annoying. But it's better than no run. I wasn't very good. I was a bit low on energy. I think my problem was, because I'm extremely thirsty now, I think I was just too dehydrated. And, um, oh, potatoes are nearly done. I think I was too dehydrated. So, lesson learned for tomorrow. I'm going to have a lot more water through the morning. Oh, look at state of me. Do you know what? I put a cap on so that people won't stop me and talk to me while I'm running because it's really annoying. You've stopped. And this woman actually came up to me and looked under my cap and tried to talk to me while I was running. Is it you? How's it going for you, baby? Yeah, good. I'm done. <sighs> I wasn't very good. Yeah, sometimes happens. Especially when... Mark! Guys, we're in the middle of filming the second dish for the Sunday show. I haven't edited a single jot. It's Saturday and I'm exhausted. And absolutely I'm exhausted. I'm absolutely exhausted. Well, to be fair, I've had a bigger and more important priority this week. Uh, look at Toffee. Look. Toffee! Oh, look. She's just there. Minding her own little business. <sighs> now just know I made these potatoes and my... She's made me very hungry. She's made me very, very Hello. hungry. Look, guys. Cottage pies, stuffed jackets. Oh, yummy. Are we allowed to eat them? No, she just had your breakfast. Oh, I knew she was going to say that. My stomach keeps making a sound. <laughs> so, Nads. Yeah. Just, yeah. just me and you, babe. Yeah. Girls are in the park. What are we gonna do? Um. Oh yeah, edit, that's right. Okay, so oh, what's going on over God, here? Oh God, it's gone in. This, this is beautiful. the one that you, well, this is the one that went before Lisa loves. Look, this is the, this beautiful, look at that. Isn't it so beautiful, the weight of it? It's a very, very posh bottle of tequila. With, with a shit cork in it. But I turned it and the cork broke off. And now it's gone in there, it's gonna ruin the flavor of it. I hate to say it, I don't think the cork's very posh. That means it, all now your tequila's going to have cork in it. I oh, know, I've got to take it out. How can I get that fucking cork out? You can't. What do you, you mean I can't? Of course you can't. It's out in it. You're never going to get it out, are you? Oh, I'm going to try. You, I'm gonna you get cannot a get... You can, I well, how get you, a pair well, how? You're going to have to... The only way you could do it... Only way you could do it yeah. is to decant all the tequila That's what I'm do. That's first, what I'm then fill it with water so that it pushes the cork nearer to the top. Right. And then try and tweezer it out. That's what I think. What do you think, subs? Is there a worm in it? Oh, no, that's I can't believe it. This tequila is. It's like it's like a bottle of Chateau Neuf de Trappe. You've got liver spots on the back of your house. I know. When did that happen? For ages. Oh my god, babe. Oh. Oh, it smells so good. Ok, 
careful, you, you're now dripping it everywhere. Hold look it over. Look how beautiful that bottle, look at the colour of it. Yeah. Isn't it the most beautiful bottle? It's one of my things about alcohol is that you, we don't talk enough about how alluring they make it. They make it jewel-like, these course things. Oh, I like style, you can skewer it. Okay, I was suggesting the old float it to the top approach. Why don't you yeah, but it was at the top with liquid before. Yeah, not quite though, it, it wasn't all the way up to the top. Oh, look, look, oh. Oh, I like oh, your style shit. though, Nat. I like what you're going for here. Let's I need to break it up. Hang on. Oh, look, you're, 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 you're clenching your buttocks. Mark! <laughs> Why do you have to bring my buttocks into because it? Because I bring your buttocks into most things. <laughs> oh, go on, babe. Oh my God. It's I breaking into see. people. No, you need to, you need to have, yeah, skewer it like that. Oh yeah, 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 you're definitely in. She's gonna do it. She's gonna she's only gonna do it. She's gonna do it. You need to break it up. No, you don't. You yeah, and then get it out. it out in two pieces. It's not gonna come out like oh. this. I need to break it. Oh Ned. You look like an alcoholic right now. You really <laughs> look like an alcoholic. Oh this bottle's so beautiful. Do not throw this bottle away. There you go, it's breaking oh. up now. Oh, Oh, oh my god, it was oh. oh my god the Oh, what's going on? Ah! Oh, what? Quick, it's gonna burn! Ah! <laughs> Subs, that's what's going in the no name Sunday show. Oh, oh, oh. but meanwhile over here is Cork Gate. Cork Gate. It's hard. I wanted to go in a, in a tequila bottle, guys. Look, you can literally go in. Oh, wow. Look, look, literally. Oh, look, there it is oh, at the bottom. So cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Hang on. Take a photo of that. Hey. Don't let it suddenly in your eyeball. Right. She's definitely tensing your buttocks. Oh, this is desperate. Imagine putting a ship in a bottle. Well, it's a very expensive bottle of tequila. It's going to be totally ruined by the taste of cork. Oh, 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 I feel it coming. Oh, Dad, you've got tequila going everywhere. Have you tried shaking it really hard? Oh, oh. Huh? Huh? Oh. Uh, oh. Um, yeah. oh. It was nearly out. Oh. Yeah, bang it oh, hard. I don't want to break it. You won't bang it hard. Oh, fuck it. Bash it. No. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sweating. Do you want to cheat? Oh. Oh. <laughs> that makes oh. such a good noise. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, how are you doing that? This is a new game. Oh my. Get some tweezers. Get some tweezers. I haven't got any that long. Babe, that's not working. It keeps no, I'm trying to break it. If I just get a little bit more broken off it, I can get it out. Babe, I think you're barking up the wrong tree here. Try my float it out approach. No, because it's too big. It was right up at the top before. It wasn't where it, it, that's not the problem. Oh! Where is where it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it got pulled out a lot further. Oh. Got, so you mm -hmm. push it on and then just pull it so fast, yeah. you it's almost pull good. your arm out of its socket. You ready? Got it in? Now. No, no one, two, three. Or are you going to stab someone? Oh, careful, look at your eye. You're going to take your eye out. I can't use two eyes, they're really annoying. Why can't two you just... eyes. Yes. Why can't you use... Two eyes aren't helping me. <laughs> they're making well, my eyes go... third eye? My eyes are going cross. You've got another eye around here. <laughs> Ma! <laughs> Come on. I'm sweating. 
I bet there's subs screaming at the screen now, gang. You know what you need to do? One, two, three. How's that going to work? Tip it up and then use the scissors to get try and get it out. Try it. Hold it up. That's it. That's what I was doing last night. Oh. Yes! They're not long enough. Make, make it come dearer to me. <laughs> make it. Try it, hold it up. That's it, that's what I was doing last <laughs> night. <laughs> oh. uh. Yes! They're not long enough. Make, make it come dearer to me. <laughs> make it. Make it. I just want to damage it. It just needs to be... Mark, see if you can make it smaller with doing this. <laughs> oh, it got pulled out a lot further. Oh. Don't drop this bottle, Mark. I will kill you. I'm relying on you now to hold the bottle. I just want to damage it. it. Just needs to be. Mark, see if you can make it smaller with doing this. Ah! Oh my god! You nearly. See what you mean? One eye, it's really hard, isn't it's it? It's really two eyes that are a hindrance. Oh, Mark, don't stab yourself. I know, it looks dead. Right, now bash it, bash it, bash it, break it. We need to break the cord. I can't see the fucking thing. <laughs> I can't see in there. I see what your problem was. Yeah. Hang on, we need to bash get in it. another hole. Bash it. We need to know, because we keep going in the same hole. Yeah, that's what I can't do, because of my two eyes. Just use one eye. Don't swap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh -huh. Get uh -huh. it. Hang on. Hang on, stop stressing me out. <laughs> Hang on, get out. <laughs> right, here we go. Hang on. Yeah. Oh. Need to break it. Oh. oh, I like your action. Yeah. But what if there's a faint break in the in the oh, bottle? You'll break the bottle. Yeah. Oh. I am not putting that excellent tequila into a plastic water bottle. Break it. You ready? Yeah. Ready? What's this? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> it so feels like it can do it, doesn't it? It can't. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. I'm trying to cut it in there. Cut that. No, that's what I was trying to do. Oh. Let me go oh. see if I can find any long tweezers. I don't think I've got any. Oh, hang on. Hold this. I might have another thing. Two at the same time. That might break Chopstick it up. Chopstick it out. Chopstick it out. Where is it? Let me see it. Uh, we're going to end this vlog here, and you're going to have to come back to see how we resolve the cork in the tequila bottle drama. Um, as you can see, Nadia has now taken to chopsticking it out. I can tell you it's not going to work. I'm not, it's not a chopstick, it's a skewer. I know. I'm skewering. I know. I know. Bye.